black folks, man. Black folks had it the worst, though, when it came to cartoons. Because they were just blatant. They didn't even care. They didn't even try to hide this stuff. Like, you ever notice, like, in, in like, uh, like, remember in all the old cartoons, like, how come all the crows, for some reason, were jive black dudes? Remember that? <laughs> like, in Dumbo, remember that? And the crows were like, say it, Dumbo! You can fly, Jack! I can dig it! Yeah, come on, Dumbo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, what? Like, remember Tom and Jerry? Like, you still catch these old, like, the old Tom and Jerry's. Like, every once in a while, like, four in the morning, if you get, if you're lucky. But, like, in the old ones, like, they, they always, Tom always had, like, a, like, an owner, like, the maid of the house. And they never showed her, like, face. They just showed her legs. They were just, and they didn't bother making them dark brown. They were just jet black, fat legs with, like, a patched up skirt, you know? And they never showed her face, but you just kind of assumed that she looked like Aunt Jemima. You know? And they're not new Aunt Jemima. The one looks like Oprah. No, not that one. The old one with the Tupac durag, all twisted up. You know, calling everybody baby all the time. Baby, you want some pancakes, baby? Come on, baby. Come on, get on one of these pancakes, baby. You know, that one. But that wasn't very racist with the dresses when she would talk, because you you'd see Tom chasing Jerry all over the place, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you hear Tom. You better catch that mouse, sucker! <laughs> I'ma go to the store and I'ma get some chicken and some watermelon. And when I get back, that mouse will better be dead. Damn, that's pretty racist, man. <laughs> Even my high school high school football coach would be like, "Damn, that's pretty racist." I'll be dipped in dookie. <laughs>